All right, so I was gonna do this. I was gonna do a poem, and then Bree got up here and fucked my whole shit up. <laughs> now I want to run home and like grab my nine-year-old and talk to her for like forty hours. Like. So it switched me up. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. I wrote it for uh, my daughter after uh, reading a news article where these guys um, refused to let these three girls into a club because of their skin color. Oh, God. They were beige. I'm joking. They were beige. Yeah! Anyway, here we go. There'll be, a hem there'll be a hundred empty doorways growing fault lines in your palms. This is the way of ignorance. The envy will not set in your veins. Your blood been used to this type of jealousy. This gypsy confidence they endure is why their heritage fits like loose skin. It's not your truth. You Eve, and they manufacture apples that look like home. Fuck them. Your roots, they want unearthed, yet too ashamed to dig for. Want you vacant and your dreams homeless. Don't fret, doer. They can't wash away what is stone. I need you to spread no. I need you to spread no thick and sloppy. Spread it like gravy. Push it out of every orifice, out of your conjure. Speak slowly so they know your texture. Tutor them and as much big hair, nappy hair brilliance as they can handle. And then tell them again that you're the very blood that makes you freedom. That your accents will bleach their throats raw. That without you, their old wounds will reopen and collect salt. <laughs> Make me feel that same way. Uh, some will say your hull too thin to float. Your body too vase to hold flowers. They just can't handle your topography. Your buxom can't fit within their edges. These origins don't come as well outside the lines. Don't negotiate, it's their loss. You survived slave ship rhetoric, and they perfected how to make women refugees of their own bodies. Yet back in their caves, they want to drink rumor from shot glasses, secretly wanting to be drunk on you, want to read your body like Braille. They want your freedom on a leash they cannot. Tell them that you belong to the rain. So you can feed them should you choose to, or just as easily drown them where they stand. Now it will hurt. It will hurt, and it's okay. It's okay to hurt. It's human. But it's also human to want to twist around their throats till dark continent leaks from their vocabulary. That's also human, but it's what they'll expect. Be careful. They often mistake reflex for savage. Now you, my angel, remain anchor. In the subject of worth, you are immovable. And their guillotine tongues will always search for your neck. Will search for your plum lips, capturing that mountain peak smile of yours. And even in the lip, they will taste the seasoning that makes all cooking worth eating. And they will want even more. In those moments, when the doors close on its hinges, and they try to make you feel less than, I need you to see your thunder. I need you to see your thunder. I need you to know that you are heaven noise. Because calm is like stop, and stop is death and you are life itself, a blackberry stain 